advancements in science and technology, modern industries and fast growing economy have enabled us to possess material prosperity unequalled in our history. On one side, technology has equipped us to understand, manipulate and control nature, while on the other hand, it has polluted our environment and rapidly depleted our natural resources. With the beginning of 21st century, several new environmental trends are being set which will affect the future civilization. These are population growth, rising temperature, falling water tables, shrinking cropland per person collapsing fisheries, shrinking forests and the loss of plant and animal species. In fact, these new trends are threats for the environmental balance. Population Explosion The world population increased from 2.5 billion to 6.1 billion just in 50 years between 1950 to 2000. Although the birth rates have decreased in most of the world, the population is projected to grow to 8.9 billion by 2050. This population growth is supposed to take place in the developing world where countries are already populated. Our numbers are continuously growing, but the Earth's natural resources are either same or decreasing. For example, the amount of fresh water produced by the hydrological cycle is same as it was in 1950 and is expected to be the same in 2050. Temperature rise. The second change that is affecting the entire world is the rise in temperature. This is happening because of increasing atmospheric concentration of carbon dioxide. The average global temperature from 1969 to 1971 was 13.99 degrees Celsius. It became 14.43 during 1996 to 1998, a gain of 0.44 Celsius. If carbon dioxide concentrations double the pre-industrial level, the global temperature is likely to increase at least by 1 degree Celsius. This increase in temperature may be up to 4 degrees. As a result, the sea level is projected to rise from minimum 17 centimeters to as much as 1 meter by 2100. This will result in the modifications in ecosystem of the earth. Already it has been recorded that 70% of coral reefs have been wiped out from the Indian Ocean because of sea surface temperature over the last two years. The modest temperature rise in recent decades is melting ice caps and glaciers. Ice cover is shrinking in the Arctic, the Antarctic, Alaska, Greenland, the Alps, the Andes and the Tibetan Plateau. Falling water table. The third and one of the least visible trend that is affecting our future is falling water tables. According to Sandra Postal of the Global Water Policy Project, over pumping of aquifers in China, India, North Africa, Saudi Arabia and the United States exceeds 160 billion tons of water per year. In consumption terms, the food supply of 480 million of the world's 6 billion people is being produced with the unsustainable use of water. Cropland Shrinkage On one side, because of fast-growing population, 
the demand of food grains is increasing day by day. On the other side, the cropland area per person is decreasing because of increasing demand of land for residential, industrial and other purposes like educational institutions, hospitals, roads, shops, etc. Since the mid-20th century, grain land area per person has decreased from 0.24 hectare to 0.12 hectare. If the world grain area remains more or less constant over the next half century, the area per person will shrink to 0 0.08 hectare by 2050. Leveling off of the oceanic fish catch, no doubt. Food is one of the basic needs of human race, which is fulfilled by various components of the environment. For food, humanity is also heavily dependent on oceans. From 1950 till 1997, the oceanic fish catch expanded from 19 million tons to more than 90 million tons. According to a number of marine biologists, the oceans cannot sustain an annual catch of more than 95 million tons. Since the world population is growing continuously, therefore, fish catch per person will decrease steadily in coming decades. In fact, the three parallel trends, falling water tables, shrinking cropland area per person, and the leveling of of the oceanic fish catch will create a situation over the next half century where it will be a great challenge to keep up with the growth in the world demand for food. Shrinking forests. Day by day, forests are also being destroyed by humans. Over the last 50 years, the world's forest area has shrunk substantially because of human intervention. In the developing countries, the depletion and deterioration of forests are comparatively more. At present, the forested area per person is 0.56 hectares, which will shrink to 0 0.38 acres in 2050. In a number of situations, the rising demand for forest products like lumber, paper, firewood, etc., is already affecting the sustainable yield of forests. Extinction of plant and animal species The accelerated extinction of plant and animal species is one of the environmental threats which is affecting human beings in an irreversible manner. The species of birds, mammals and fishes which are vulnerable or in immediate danger of extinction are 11% of the world's 8,615 known bird species, 25% of the world's 4,355 known mammal species and 34% of all fish species. The main cause for species loss is their habitat destruction and habitat alterations because of rising temperatures. Pollution can also decimate both plant and animal species. Because of disappearance of more and more species, local ecosystems have begun to collapse. If this trend of species extinction continues, then at some time the whole ecosystem will collapse. Issues because of Environmental threats. These environmental threats raise a number of ethical and technological questions before human society. For example, what is the extent of the environmental damage produced by present and projected industrial technology? How large a threat does damage pose to the welfare of human being? What values must the human society give up to hold 
or slow such damage? Whose rights are violated by pollution? And who should be given the responsibility of paying for the costs of polluting the environment? How long our natural resources will last? So intractable and difficult are the issues raised by these environmental threats that many observers believe that they cannot be solved. For example, William Pollard, physicist, says, as the earth in a short few decades becomes twice as crowded with human beings as it is now, and as human societies are confronted with dwindling resources in the midst of mounting accumulation of wastes and a steadily deteriorating environment, we can only foresee social paroxysms of an intensity greater than any we have so far known. The problems are so varied and so vast and the means for their solutions so far beyond the resources of the scientific and technological know-how on which we have relied that there simply is not time to avoid the impending catastrophe. We stand therefore on the threshold of a time of judgment more severe undoubtedly any mankind has ever faced before in history.